The purpose of a helmet-mounted cueing system, primarily for a tactical pilot, is to allow him to have a reticle on his eye so that he can look at a target, designate a target, and then attack it with weapons. There's a symbol that comes up in a reticle that tells the pilot, look over here, look over here, and then he can see the target. This is the joint helmet-mounted cueing system, often known as Jehemix. It's mounted on a model helmet. This system was developed 15 years ago and first started flying 12 years ago. The new Scorpion system was developed three years ago, and I like to ask people whether they carry a 12-year-old cell phone, and they don't. The Scorpion helmet-mounted cueing system fits on a standard service helmet. The helmet that every pilot is flying with today, this Scorpion system can be snapped right onto the banana clips, which are a part of the current helmet. So that means that when this system is procured, the uh, Air National Guard will buy a Scorpion for each airplane seat. In the past, Jehemix was a form-fitted helmet, and it needed to be procured one for every pilot. Once he's in the seat and there's power on the airplane, a test pattern appears on this reticle. And the pilot moves, adjusts the reticle left and right and up and down until he finds the sweet spot where he can see the full 20 by 26 degree field of view, and then he locks it in place with a thumb wheel. Later, after the airplane engines are started and the full avionics system is up, the pilot puts his reticle on the aiming device, either on the HUD or an MFD, and pushes a button to do the 30-second foresight procedure. Once that procedure is done, the airplane then always knows where the pilot's head is pointing. We use the same color and the same symbols as the pilot has in his head-down displays, so that when we put Scorpion on an A-10, it will have different symbols than the Scorpion we put on the F-16, but they'll be the same symbols that are heads down. So that when the pilot looks down on his map and he's looking for a target, which maybe is a red triangle, when he looks up out of the cockpit, he'll see a little red triangle telling him where to look, and then when he's looking at it, it'll go solid. So that's the way that we maintain that increased situational awareness by using the same symbology and the same color, both heads up and heads down.